Hello and welcome to another edition of An English Guy Watching Wrestling. I'm an English Guy, I'm Nick, thank you so much for clicking on another video, I really do appreciate it. And this one, we're going to be covering the 2nd of April 2021 Ring of Honor television episode. With that being said, let's drive right into it. The opening match was between Brian Johnson and Danhausen, and this was the third in their trilogy of matches. And it's been a bit of an unusual rivalry between these two because Dan Housen is one of the most unusual wrestlers out there, but a very gifted wrestler. We'll say that Brian Johnson is also a very gifted wrestler. Both men, veterans of the scene. And I've enjoyed the interactions between these two because of how different they are in terms of character wise. Dan Housen, kind of like a fairy, fairy tale character, but evil fairy tale character, but well respected and liked by the fans. I like him. I think he's very, very good. But he's also a very good wrestler, that being said. Brian Johnson is another great wrestler. And I give credit where she, considering the shenanigans between both these men to win their respective matches, one apiece, leading to this match, it was good to see different kind of unique and different characters work from them in this match. And also a very good wrestling match, to be fair. And a lot of hard-hitting impacts. And something that I really enjoyed seeing from Dan Housen, because I don't really see it that often from him in these kind of matches. But this was actually a very good match. I enjoyed this one because of the work rate from both men and ability to stretch their wrestling legs, shall we say. I thought this was a very good exchange of counter-wrestling, good wrestling between both men, and I enjoyed it. This was a very good way to finish off the trilogy with um, Johnson picking up the win. And I think it's good to see him getting a bit more of a push, because I do like him. Like Brian Johnson, I think, is the guy who's going to get that opportunity to rise a bit more within the rankings, and hopefully he does, because he... He does, he's a very, very good wrestler. And Dan Housen lost nothing in this defeat, shall we say. It was very, very good to see him to be able to be himself and not use the false teeth that he uses. If you've ever seen a Dan Housen angle or match, you know what I'm talking about because of how unique it is. It's so different. But that's something like that in wrestling you really, really like to see. So it was actually a very good match to start the show. So thumbs up to both of them. Which brings us to the main event. Eli Eason versus LSG. Now... It's not the first time these two men have ever met in Ring of Honor, or in wrestling will stop to be honest. And Eli has only been wrestling for just over a year, but you would never have guessed it. He can wrestle like a veteran. It's very, very good. NSG, by this point, is a veteran. He's been in the business for some time. And this was a very good main event, to be fair. I really, really like this match. Some of the matches, and I'd say some of the exchanges between these two in this match was just fantastic wrestling. And what wrestling should be. There wasn't much either men really put a foot wrong into in this match. And as I said, with Eason Money being in the business just over a year, you've never guessed it. He's picked up in a flash and he's very, very good. But then again, so is LSG. LSG is a very, very capable and very, very capable technical all-round wrestler. He makes it look so good. Same can be said of his opponent. This was a very, very good match between these two. And I know this was... Possibly not the last time we're going to see these two men. If that's the case, I'm all for it. I really enjoyed this match. And it's good to see him getting a bit more of a chance to ring up on the television because of the... Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, not being able to wrestle, understandably. But um, good to see him doing what he does. And I've seen him wrestle before. Uh, this was his, one of his best performances today. I thought he was very, very good. And hopefully, we'll see more of him at NSG in the future. And possibly a chance for one of them to push up in the television... Types of rankings. That's what this match was kind of signifying, and hopefully that's going to be the case. And hopefully we'll see either one of these men get a chance to shine and do what they can, say can do in the pure division. Time will tell. And Ring of Honor, you know, you know better than we do. We'll find out what happens. <laughs> but um, a very good episode this week. I did enjoy. It. I thought it's a very good, two very good, about two very good matches from both all four men. Time to talk about again. <laughs> but no, two very, very good matches on this week's show. I enjoyed it. And very, very enjoyable episode of Ring of Wonder Television. And on that high note, and me mumbling my words and jumbling them up as usual. <laughs> That's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see everybody next time. Jumbling my words again. <laughs> but until that time, take care.